on second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Back to throw. He's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? Oh, no. We'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hall. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On third down, Hall. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down the yardage. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Wilson. Caught. It's Wilson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down now, but that clock rolling. And he'll find Hall. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Finding room to the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Right back to him on first down. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And this one is right through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that, because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jack touchdown. And 
so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well and end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. Point after, right down the middle. He's going to take a 10-point lead. Play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Returnable here for Davis. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Texans' offense ready to go here for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this field. Well, one win down, still three to go to get to the most hollowed ground in sports, but a good start. A terrific start because they get to move on. Unfortunately for the team that lost, it's a long offseason ahead for them now. Choose the team you want to start your franchise with. Continue ahead to begin your franchise. Use the options on the left to edit league settings or change your role to a player or owner. Chiefs coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to Chile, but of course sold out.
birth in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. From a couple yards deep, he'll... And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Giovanni Ricci. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this division round matchup. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing Jones. Taylor's got the first down and more. And he's all the way up to the 39-yard line that time. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And the Chiefs' D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Now Jones. Going deep here for Parker. And oh, that really an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And Mahomes is going to go down in the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end. On first and ten, Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A first carry here for J.J. Taylor. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Back to Taylor on first down. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. A quick throw caught out wide by Bourne. 
And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. On second and 11 now. Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short at first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So add three, uh, all told, after the safety, it's a five-point swing. That could have turned out much worse. Well, you don't want to say no harm, no foul, but I do believe you're right. A nine-point swing hurts. Five points, much more manageable, especially in a tight game like this. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Edwards-Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. Second and 10. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second and nine, Mahomes. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Matt Judon, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes. This pass gonna be caught by Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And it's caught. Touchdown. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out and feel charged up and ready to go. Butker now to add the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. To return it, Darius Phillips. 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. They're forced to play catch-up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC Championship round. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. To throw again on second down, Jones. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now this throw caught left side, and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And now a first carry for their fullback. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. Well, looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they didn't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it. Six points on the board. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is down to two. So that drives six plays, 75 yards, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Nicole Hardman. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out come the Chiefs now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing, because that drive went and went, no adjustments, and no good plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there for KC. I don't think anyone would argue that having that extra week definitely helps come playoff time. And those were some fresh legs right there. That extra practice time and planning, certainly in evidence. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Boston Scott, his first carry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. 
Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as that is as good as you can do, I guess. So well done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. Butker on for the PAT. And that makes it a nine-point game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On the give, this is their full down. A gain of three, second down. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Well, this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Jones from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, look at the juke. A strong running. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Second quarter for Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Mahomes to throw once more. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 35. They'll run with Scott. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. Open man here is Scott. Complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. 
These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt them later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And hit behind the lot. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. They'll run on first down. It's Scott. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now a throw here, hauled in. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And did he get the feet down? No. They'll say he did not. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Scott. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Throw right side, going to be caught by Hardman. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now Mahomes. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. On the carry, this is Scott. And some room to run now. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Butker's kick here is good. And that will give him a 12-point lead. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. The Pats at the line ready to go. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only give up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down to a bunch in the end zone without turning it over. Throwing Jones. Incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it, forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. I go to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. 
49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Scott. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They go play fake, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown. Nicole Hardman from six yards away. And the Chiefs continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Pats at the line ready to go. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now Jones. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The give to the fullback on the dive. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it'll bring up a third down. Looking to throw, Jones. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 43. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. And now a carry here for the fullback. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. On second and nine, Jones over the middle complete. It's Smith, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't come their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Now Jones on first and 10. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll go down, right down at the 20-yard line. Set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. And he'll go down. 
brought down at the 20-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that'll get the deficit back to 16. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. So, and just like that, on we head to half number two. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Hardman on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. On second down now, it's Scott. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Mahomes now on first down. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Mahomes going to throw to the right side. It's Kelsey. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. to throw, it's Mahomes. He'll get this out wide to Scott. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So in the Pats territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. They go play action, now Mahomes. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Mahomes again here on second and 10. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Second down and goal, Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Big play coming here, it's third and goal. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that pushes the lead up to 23. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half, 
Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Back to throw. Jones. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Here's Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's taken down inside the 30. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now here's Mahomes. Looking for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. On first down, Mahomes. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tap it down at the one. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Scott looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. He'll try again. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Boston Scott taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs just continue to pour it on. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will extend this big lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. New England's offense set to go. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime, they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Meanwhile, Jones' throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun. Jones 
And his throw here is incomplete. Second and ten. Off play action. Jones. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Off the play fake, Jones. Henry's got it, out on the left side. That catch good for five, it's third down. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's taken down, a chief set. Frank Clark drops him for a loss of 10, and it's gonna be fourth and long. Got the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. 